guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 7 of The Ice Guy and his cool female colleague. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. That is like super loud in my ear. Oh yeah, the content. Oh, okay. That's what it is. I, th I thought I was thinking somebody was going to be paying someone money. Just a contest. Save it, maybe buy a house. That too, apartment, yeah. So house, apartment. Yeah, there you go, and you still get money. <laughs> that would literally be like a lot. <laughs> Am I think she would be dead by then, right? <laughs> True. I mean, yeah. Starbucks. Oh, that looks so good. Did I just say black pepper? I mean, well, you can always do like Uber Eats and try to get it to you as quickly as possible. Damn, crowded at night too? Well, yeah, the Starbucks. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so, even though it's now clearly Wednesday for me, like one minute to one thirty. Um, happy belated Valentine's Day. I hope your day was good. Filled with, you know, love from friends, family, significant others, the more important self-love. I hope your day was good. My day was all right. Um, I had no drama at work, thank God. Um, because normally sometimes 50 out of 50 by the time I come home. <laughs> I am telling my mom, be like, woo, you won't believe the day I had. But honestly, yeah, my day yesterday was not really that bad. It was actually really good. Um, I was just, you know, you know how like when you come into work and you're just like in the in the mood of you just want to get things done so that you can go home. I was in that mood. I, in a way, I'm always in that mood where I, like I'm like I'm in that one like. <laughs> My multitask mind, I'm just like, mm -mm, one thing, concentrating on one, getting this done so I can, you know, get my ish done so that I can come home and get my other ish done and do so many other things like, oh, you don't know, like, oh my God. Honestly, I would have expected them to do at least a Valentine's Day episode because this is, well, for us in America, it came out on Valentine's Day. It's the next day for everybody else, so. Mm. Oops. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I get three. How good four? Oh, I thought she was going to say, hmm. You sure you don't want a cold pack? Well, I mean, yes, you're already cold as well, but still, it doesn't hurt to have more. <laughs> that looks really good. Oh. <laughs> oh, the fact that they both thought of the same idea, hey, that's doubled and that's fine, too, for everyone. No. 
Oh, it's cute. Ain't it? Now, if the other two end up showing up with four more, that is too much. <laughs> so do you taste the black pepper? Halloween party? Um. Is she pretty? Ain't that funny? But hold up. My, okay. Here, here's my thing. And this is only because of due to all, like, my favorite American competition shows that have to deal with money. Don't they have to pay the taxes off for that money in a contest, even in Japan? If so, how much is that? Like, oh, God. <laughs> of course, everybody's going to give it their all. <laughs> You're getting distracted. <laughs> Yes, Fuyuski would look good at anything, but still, we need something for all four of you, not just her. <laughs> sure. Excuse me, one thirty, and I'm getting sleepy again. Uh, damn. So now, what do you do? But what if it's just the same thing? Excuse me. Oh my god.
Yeah, I mean, my thing is, what is better than a pumpkin? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but at least you still found some great costumes. The fact that you walked her home. Oh my god. Do you want to come in? <laughs> right. You're already her treat. If this is how a Halloween episode is gonna go between them, bruh, watch when we get into a Christmas episode. <laughs> She's gonna be a little late. What's wrong? Oh my god. He said over and out, uh, all right, yep. She <laughs> <laughs> I'll be over here crying, oh my God, not only because I'm sleepy too. <laughs> Wait, you haven't even told her or showed her the costume? I can't. Oh my god. I mean, yes, that would work for him, but still. <laughs> Dressed like something else. Yes, that too. Hey, hey, he they could be mummies. We just need some either toilet paper or paper towels, something to just wrap around, and then boom, easy costume. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh my god. But at least our lovely Phoenix is happy. That's all. <laughs>
great. <laughs> I'm trying to laugh, but I can't because I'm sleepy. The fact that I predicted that. <laughs> I mean, it's a quick and easy idea. It doesn't take that long to do so it's just perfect it's always the last minute thing that you can always do and make it work there you go yeah. Stop, like, right there, right there. He looks like a freaking, oh my god. All the fucking Yuri on Ice vibes right now. I can't. Stop it, my lord. Just the way his hair is parted like that and then kind of pushed back. Help me. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I figured it was fake blood. Because of the fake blood? <laughs> no, I know, it's me. And it's okay for you to be upset. Once again, it just shows you! How much he likes you. Just go ahead and date. Yes. Gonna be Phoenix, ain't it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you. 
Imagine, like, if you, <laughs> if <laughs> Fuyuski did not think of that last working minute, they would have lost, and yes, our team vampires would have won. But you know, hey, it happens. <laughs> you guys. Uh oh, oh, wait, wait. Are you two gonna confess today? Oh. I mean, it's perfect. It's Halloween. Halloween party. Come on. Or at least buy a Christmas episode. Oh. Thanks. So... Goodbye. Good. Bye. That's so fucking cute. Oh my god. That's the cutest thing ever. Yeah, it's so... <laughs> They're literally everywhere. <laughs> Honestly, yes. This is probably now my favorite episode besides... Oh, they're using the same outfit again for our guy. Okay, this has to be my favorite episode besides the theme park one. Okay. I love how Fuyuki was able to think on her feet, even with the fact that it's very close to where the party starts. And what do you have? Shit, excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm so sleepy. When you have to think of something else very last minute with the little materials that you have. It is a challenge and some people can thrive under that pressure. That's the thing that you have to do or when you're in a work environment, you have to work under crucial situations, you know, difficult decisions and stuff. I mean, we all do that in whatever job that we're working, whether that's me at the UPS store, um, someone working as a nurse, someone working as a dentist, someone working in a, um, freaking customer service for like the phone networks and such and having to deal with the stress of people you know doing this is not third and you're trying your hardest not to cut someone out it's just one of the many perks of having the job you just you, you smile give them the cutest smile and because you know the biggest thing is that's always going to piss them off is a smile when you feel at your best in good af of course people are going to get mad at you but you always treat them with kindness. Oh, the fact that we're already going so quickly into the Christmas episode too. That is weird. I mean, we just ended on Halloween. So, I mean, damn. Like, I was expecting them. Like, you see, like, I was not expecting episode 7 to be an episode on Halloween, maybe like eight, nine, or ten, and then the final episode of the show, or the second to last episode, to be an episode extremely focused on Christmas slash New Year's, and then possibly getting it together at the end. But if we're going to see Christmas officially as of episode eight next week, then it does make me wonder from nine to the end of the series, what are we seeing truly with us? Because it can go anywhere else. We could also possibly see like a Valentine's Day episode um, focusing on it and such because that's kind of also what I truly wanted to see for this show. As I said, because in America, it, end, I mean, it aired on the 14th for us while for everybody else, it aired kind of the next day in Japan. So it's just like, damn, <laughs> you know, it, it would be nice. So yeah, they could possibly still do it and such. Or it could just be because... It just could be like a random episode, just sweet and caring and everything. Like, oh, I'm glad that, you know, they were able to, our, our team Phoenix and team vampires, they ended up splitting the money 
instead of like one team being greedy and saying, haha, like this is my money, it's all for me, whatever. Because at the end of the day, it still was a team effort that Fuyuski was the one who decided if she, once again, if she did not stay like, oh, hey, they should do this because we are, they are very close and crunched in for time. They would have lost and Team Vampire would have won and such. And I only think Team Vampire would have only shared the money out of the four of them. It's a group effort at the end of the day. But like, I, I once again, it does make me wonder with however much money you get for a contest, because I do know this for like, um, as I said, some of the American competition shows that I watch, like Strictly the Amazing Race, when we, when a, when a team of two or a family, the one season that they do this, the family of four, uh, wins the $1 million, like, of course, the old, the, the, either the team of two who are, of course, both adults, or one of them could be eight, still like a teenager or whatever. And then the other one is a parent. Eventually, that parent has to pay taxes on that one million dollars. Anything that they won from the show. So, like, if they if they did win money on a leg, they gotta pay taxes on that. If they won a vacation on that, they still gotta pay taxes on that. And even till this day, I could not believe that. And it's still so weird to like, no matter when, <laughs> how many times I rewatch the dang show. And I watch a team and they win whatever. And I'm just like, damn, you got to pay money off of this. And I cannot imagine being the ones who wins like the whole freaking show. And you got to pay the taxes off that $1 million and such. And then plus you're, you're signing agreements with them and stuff. Like imagine like, I don't know. No, well, not the biggest loser because the biggest loser doesn't win money. Like, okay, something like Fear Factor or Survivor or Big Brother they all have to do the same thing, which is so freaking crazy as hey. So yeah, it makes you wonder with that with that money that they won that they all split. They all gotta pay taxes on that. Like oh my god, but it makes me wonder like how much they gotta pay because who knows our taxes versus Japan's taxes. Probably number wise, they are completely different in how much you have to pay and how much you earn back and such. It just reminds me of the first time when I did mine and I was so sad and I was just like. I don't like being an adult. I want to go back to being a kid. Like, oh my god. But yes, this was a sweet episode. Literally the, like, my personal new favorite episode now. The Halloween aspect was cute. Very excited to see the Christmas episode next week. And hopefully slash New Year's the week after. And then eventually getting into possibly Valentine's Day and or White Day as well. Because something tells me that they're going to do those two holidays next. And then, you know, we get to see our babies, you know, finally get together, maybe. And then also, big, big, big thing, um, his sister finally makes an appearance, not just in the opening, in the freaking episode. Seven episodes in, and she still has not made an appearance. That's so freaking weird. But other than that, guys, that's where I actually be towards episode seven of The Ice Guy and his cool female colleague. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join my Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Tuesday for episode 8. Bye, guys.